Tornadoes are ravaging the middle of the United States, and since 1900, their numbers have increased. What if there was a way to stop them in their tracks? Hello world, Trace here for DNews. Tornadoes have been hitting across the plains, destroying property and uprooting families, and now hurricane season, <laughs> that's coming too. These giant storms are an unstoppable swirl of destruction careening across the surface of our planet. And we asked ourselves, with all this technology around, shouldn't we be able to do something about it? It's 2013, people. Let's fix this. If you watched Anthony's video on how tornadoes happen, then you've got the basic idea. Cold air hits warm air, which causes a swirling cycle, which sometimes grows in speed and power until it becomes a tornado. 80% of tornadoes are only an F0 or an F1, which means about 0.1 miles wide, and the same amount of energy is around 300 gallons of jet fuel. But there are other ones, monsters, like last week, where there was a 2.6 mile wide tornado with 20 times the energy of that average tornado. Storm chasers across the nation are learning more about tornadoes each season and making that data available to NASA and other weather specialists for research. A few of our commenters, like Lucilla, asked if it would be possible to try and disperse a forming tornado by releasing explosives into the air in its approximate location. Aside from the destruction, that's actually a really great question. If we look at how tornadoes are formed, though, experts say it probably won't work. We'd need a bomb that had more energy than the tornado does, and then we'd have to put it in the exact right spot at the exact right time, and tornadoes really only last a few minutes. Even the big ones are jumping around constantly. So a bomb just wouldn't really be viable. Physicist Bernard Eastland imagines using a satellite to shoot powerful microwaves into the storm, heating the cooler air and causing the swirling weather to dissipate, which might actually work, except of course that we'd be microwaving the sky. Other plans to stop tornadoes have us shooting cold water at them or even flying a giant airplane into it to dissipate that mass of swirling air. There are so many ideas, but the plans are still pretty much science fiction. Storm expert Karen Kosiba from the Center for Severe Weather Research in Colorado and guest star from Discovery's Storm Chasers told io9 that her ideal tornado dispersal system would switch the wind direction of the funnel somehow. She wasn't sure of the physics of how that would work, but the best plan would be to stop the funnel if we can. The majority of damage from these storms is not from the pressure changes or from the rain, but actually flying debris. She says the rain's actually kind of important, so we wouldn't want to stop that anyway. For now, we'll just have to settle for the significant increase in warning times in the last few decades from this research, and also, you know, better weather satellites and better ways to protect ourselves. Those are good too. With 75% of all tornadoes on Earth touching down in the United States every year, We've got a lot to study. So how do you think we could stop a tornado? Maybe your ideas could help us. Share your idea with us in the comments. Subscribe here on YouTube for more D-News twice a day, every day.